Hi, Ari, it's Travis and Aaron. Welcome back to our adventures in Azeroth. Last episode, we leveled up our herbalism, and then we went to Duskwood to look for some alliance. We weren't able to find really any alliance players, which was kind of a shame. So today we are going to go on a search again. Blood and thunder. And we are going to head over to Ashenvale. Spring. And we're going to check out Darkshore as well. Just to see if there's some uh, some alliance around. But, um, yeah, we're, doesn't look like there's much on Fairlina. We're looking for alliance that are leveling, so I assume the majority of them are in Outland. I will have to see how all that works out. Gotta love the Barons. Looks great. I swear, if I if if uh, if 007 dies, which I hope doesn't happen, I may switch to Horde and uh, I'll try to level in the Barons again. I really miss uh, miss this zone. It's a really fun zone to be in. Oh, there's another venture company uh, oil mining rig. You get such good shots when you're on these wyverns. But yeah, today we are going to be trying to... Um, I guess I'll show you guys what we want to do. We want to get our herbalism up to 125, or close to it. And that's about it. We're just trying to level up our herbalism a bit. And then hopefully we can level up our alchemy from that. Looks like we can make a lot of minor rejuve pots, which is nice. But yeah, we're just focused on getting our professions up to date. It's crazy how long it's taken us just to get up here. Really take the scenic route. Like, we were literally just over here at the crossroads. I could have just <laughs> probably mounted up and got here at around the same time. We're just over not as fast as I think it is. Yeah, here we are. We're going to pull up to Splinter Tree Post. We haven't been here in a while. I enjoyed the quests in, quest in Ashenvale, though. Some pretty good quests here. Especially all the new TBC ones that that came out. I guess they're, they're not really new, but... New to Classic. All right, so here we are, Splinter Tree Post, and it's time for us to go herb hunting. So we're going to be going around here, heading up this way, head over to Dark Shore. We'll see if we can find some alliance and some herbs. It's midday, so there probably isn't too many out. But right now, what I think, I honestly think Grobulus may be the best server to be on in terms of uh, Horde 2 alliance ratio. Like, I would honestly recommend um, Grobulus over Fairlina and a lot and many other servers if you're thinking about playing Classic. Because. Uh, because not only do you have like a decent um, alliance to horde ratio, they also have like RP events and all this other extra stuff that's a lot of fun. If that's like, if you're into that, if you're not into that then... If you're not into like having a server balance and like a little bit of RP on the server, then you'd probably be fine with just hanging out on Fairlina. Fairlina's great if you're looking for if you're playing, if you want to play Horde, and you're looking for arena partners and raiding guilds, there's a lot of raiding guilds and people that are interested in in arena here. All right, so we should probably get off the road. If we want to find herbs, they probably won't be on or near the road. There's one herb there. Let's see what we got here, bruiseweed. I think we can loot that. I hope we can. Who's this? 
No, get away! Terrible dog, man. Just Bambi just got <laughs> destroyed. Okay, good. We can loot Bruiseweed. Yeah, this is a good zone for us to get our herb up. 19 more of those and we should be good. Supposedly in Classic Season of Master, they increased the amount of herbs that are dropped or that are, in, that are here. I wonder if it's like that for Classic TBC. King's blood. This is the this is what I want to get. This is the reason why I want to get it up to 125. Is because King's blood's 125, and there's a lot of King's blood in Stranglethorn Vale. It's weird how there's some here in uh, Ashen Vale. Maybe Darkshore would be be a better place for us to go. I wish I didn't. Uh, I wish I didn't forget to herb as much as I did. Clearly set me back a little bit. But we won't allow it to happen again, that's for sure. Yeah, I wonder where all these herbs are. What's like the best route to take? Need to watch out here though. We're pulling up to uh, to an alliance an alliance village here. Probably go check it out. We'll see if there's any alliance there. And we could get the flight point over here. It's not a bad flight point to have. herbs in here. Yep, there's some. Briar Thorn. Yeah, it's gonna be a grind to get to 125. You don't need to get it right like right at 125, but be nice to get it close but yeah another thing that's happening is um black temples uh coming out the ptr pretty soon so a lot of guilds are going to be practicing their black temple strats trying to perfect it so they can do well during the first week of the new patch update which are, and i wonder when it's going to come out i wonder if they're going to release uh black temple before the retail patch. Who knows? But yeah, we're gonna start seeing a lot of rogues getting war glaives, which is cool. So good way to go. Guess we'll head down here. We'll see what happens. Oh. Hopefully I don't die. 
Looks like we got a herb over here. Gotta watch out. Surprised we didn't pull anything there. Might pull this patrol. Probably not. We're good. But yeah, Black Temple will be a lot of fun. It's going to be cool to see who gets world first uh, Illidan for classic TPC. But it w I have a feeling it'll probably d be done in one day or like in a couple, like less than five hours. A lot of these guilds get tons of practice on the PTRs, so... They're ready to go right away. I kind of wish they didn't do the PTR. It's, it's weird that they do that they have a PTR at all. Because this... You know, the raid's already been released. So why do they even have a PTR, right? Like, they've already released the raid back in the day. Like, why do they need a PTR? But I guess there's some bugs that they can have that they want to make sure are fixed. And they want to see if it's hard enough or not. Yeah, there should be a lot of new WoW content coming out. Interested to see what they do with BWL in uh, Season of Mastery. That should be out in a month or so. I want to see what they, all the new mechanics they add to that, to that raid. Alright, so we're almost at 120. I think we'll go over here and we'll try to pick up the... We'll go and pick up the flight point. Just might as well. I'm surprised I didn't get this before. There's a little troll... ...village here. I guess, I guess you could call it a... Or it's like an outpost, it's not really a village. It's really small. Then after this, we'll head up to to Darkshore. And we'll see if we can find any alliance. Surprised we haven't been able to find any. King's Blood again. Can't loot that. It's crazy how they expect you to have to 125 when you're in Ashvale. It's like level 20. That's a lot of herb picking, man. Like, we're clearly behind by a lot. We should be probably in, like, the two... Like, close to 200 right now. Or around there. I kind of just didn't want to pick herbs anymore. I kind of got sick. I stopped going out of my way. Yeah, we'll go over here to the Zorm Strand. We'll pick up this flight path. I don't know if we'll ever use it, but it's just nice to have unlocked. Yeah, I guess we'll head up to Darkshore now. And the herbs there should be a little bit lower than the ones here. And Darkshore is kind of a pain to travel through because it's really it's linear, so... So we're just going to go up and down it probably once. And I'm hoping we see a bunch of herbs. There isn't many people out here, so... I would expect that I would probably be first dibs on a lot of these herbs that are around here. Sweet up there. Yeah, 111. It's not bad. 
There are some herbs there that are like level 115 we can pick up. Some of them are super high, they're like 170s, which is goes to show you how far far we fell behind. <laughs> but I think if I just farm the king's blood, there's so much king's blood in in WoW or in classic WoW that you can just farm that all the way up to 200 almost pretty much. It's probably one of the most common herbs in all of classic. I wonder how the realm, or the, I don't know if it's Realm Reborn, but I wonder how the Final Fantasy expansion is doing, because they had, uh, they had queue time skin their servers. So I'm interested to see how it's, how it's going. Got a Peace Bloom over here. Okay, well, that's a little too low. I don't know if we should pick it up. Earth roots. I don't know. Yeah, this might not be a good idea. I think we're above, kind of, ahead of this. Check it out, though, for a little bit. Get this earth roots. Probably still going to give us a little bit of XP. But if we're seeing a bunch of peace blooms, then... Um, this area is probably not that great. But we will be heading here soon on the Rogue. I'm kind of worried. A lot of people die here in Dark Shore, so... I gotta <laughs> need to make sure that I don't die. The Murlocs are going to be a pain. And all of the wildlife here. You see how these fur bulgs... It's over here. Briar Thorn, that's not bad. That should get us some XP. Where is it? Right here. Is it down here? Oh, there it is. I forgot it looks like a, a root growing out of the ground. There we go, 113. We're climbing slowly. I don't even know if this place is a good place to do herbalism, to be honest, but it seems all right. One thing I know is Teldrassil is a great place for herbalism. That place is full of herbs. This place seems pretty good, though. Ran into a lot of herbs. The only problem is they're not the ones we're, we're kind of looking for. Yeah, silver leaf, that's brutal. Yeah, I think um, I think we may go back. The spot's okay. You know, it's probably a better spot. I think Hinter Hinterlands or um, yeah, the area we were before. Should have did a little bit more herbalism here. Not all Turk Mountain, but that's yes, where South Shore is. I always forget the name of that place. South Shore and Terran Mill is. Hillsbrad? Yeah, Hillsbrad. I think that area is a good place to get your herbalism up. There's a lot of herbs there. The Barrens kind of sucks. It's all for, for now. Because we are, we're a little ahead of the Barrens. Let's see what's over here. Briarthorn? Not bad. As long as we keep running into briar thorns, then I guess it is worth it. Supposedly it's just over here.
There we go. Yeah, enough briar thorn here. So it's better than I thought it was. Yeah, these bears. And that's the thing about about this uh, this zone. Like it, it might seem like, you know, it's not a bad zone, but the problem with this zone is that everything's patrolling. That's why this place is messed up. Like every mob's patrolling back and forth and like all around and and you can easily run into a three on one pretty damn quick. Which is why I'm kind of worried about it for uh, my rogue. But yeah, we haven't seen a single Alliance player. Guess we'll, we're getting close to Aberdeen. I want to see if anybody's there. Okay, so we're in Aberdeen. Pull up quick. Go up here. Take a little peek. Oh, okay. Not much going on. Right over there is the dock. All the boats come, come and go. Yeah, not too much going on in Aberdeen. We got a 40 Sentinel coming after us. I think we'll be okay. Alright, so we'll head back. And then uh, hopefully we get a couple more curbs. It's going somewhat okay. It'd be nice to get the 120 at least. Yeah, Herbalism's a grind. I'm going to make sure I don't have to deal with this again. I think I'm going to go out of my way to get herbs. Look at that. The yeah, Alkin, don't mess around with them, dude. The Moonkins. It's going to be an interesting quest, dealing with the Moonkins. <laughs> it's over here. Silver leaf, yeah, this, is, this isn't good. What's that over there? Bruise weed? Nice. Just need to find out where this planet is behind here. Yeah. That'll get us to 116. Probably by the time we're back to Ashenvale, we'll be close to 120. Yeah, not a lot of people leveling in Fairly Non Alliance side. So, I'm not surprised why people are leaving. Looks like not many new people are coming here, leveling up characters. And there's a bunch of people leveling horde characters, so... Yeah, no wonder people are leaving to Benediction. And it makes sense, because if you're a raiding guild on Ferlina, you, you know, people quit the game. All that stuff happens, so you need to... Have a, you always need like an influx of new players joining the server so you can get you know some new people in your guild to raid because people quit and I assume these raiding guilds had trouble getting these new people or getting any new people at all so they said hey let's just go to benediction where all the alliance players are Yeah, it's kind of sad. Ferlina was a really cool server. It's kind of it's becoming a horde server. It's just fine. It's like pretty much how many majority of the servers are. Except for Grobulus. Grobulus is, uh... Grobulus seems to have a decent ratio. Okay, there's an Earth... Okay, Earth Roots are crap now. Mage Royale down there. Mage Royale might be still green. Yeah, it is. So we'll pick that up. But yeah, just because I went through the zone a couple of <laughs> at random times throughout the day, it clearly doesn't mean that, you know, there's nobody leveling, but it's clearly not a... It's, it's a sign that 
You know, it's it's clearly not as populated. Like, even if I went through the barrens, it's not like I would find a bunch of people leveling Horde either, so. But I probably would find one or two. We're getting XP by discovering all these zones, not too much. Getting like 31 XP. But yeah, I didn't. Th we went to Duskwood too, didn't find anybody. So. Yeah, that's kind of weird. Two very popular leveling zones for Alliance. But they could be in Dunmoreau. Who knows? Maybe they're in Dunmoreau. We went to Red Ridge Mounds as well, didn't find anybody. Yeah. It's sad. It wasn't it, it wouldn't be like this. If um like last year around this time. And the thing is a lot of people do boost. So that could be another thing. Some people might just be in outland. I wonder what uh Shatrath is like. Like what does it look like? He's there a lot of Alliance and Shadrath. Yeah, we'll try to find a couple more herbs here. We only need like three and we're at 120. Because I know there's some bruise weed and stuff in STV, so. All we need to do is get five there. And then after that... We're good to get the king's blood. I think that's the goal of every herbalist. Like, once you get the king's blood, you can kind of chill out a little bit. Because there's so much king's blood there. Or everywhere. That, um, you can just level off of that. You can get to pretty much level 200. Or almost 200. Just off of king's blood alone. I wonder why these are my are enemies to me. They're they're blood elves, are they? Oh, they're they're dark strand cultists. Never mind. It's funny how all these cultists are like alliance based. Like they're either dark iron dwarves, blood elves, humans. There's a king's blood over there. Can't loot it yet. That sucks. But yeah, it was nice checking out Ashenvale again. It's probably be the last time we come here. It was cool going to Darkshore for a little bit, checking out Arberdeen. Oh, okay. You gotta watch out. We're starting to pull up to uh, Ashenar. Maybe we'll check out Ashenar, see what's going on. Need to make sure we don't get too close, though, because the Night Elf Guards there will most likely destroy us. should be herbs here. Oh wow, you guys are level 35 elite. Like you would think Ashenvale would be littered with herbs. There's so many plants growing here. That we just run around and we can't find anything. We could be found a little bit, but it's... I don't know, I think it should be a, a zone that's considered 
to have a lot of herbs. One one zone that does have a lot though, it's like a good popular place to actually get like end game herbs for classic is Fellwood. Fellwood's actually pretty damn good. It's one of the best. I think it's one of the best zones in the game for like farming herbs and just, you know, world PvP and classic. Because there's a world buff there you can get as well. It's a song flower. And it's uh, it was pretty popular during 2019 Classic when world buffs were, were a thing. I kind of don't like that they took out world buffs. I, it really added to the world. It's good for raiding, though. Because it makes raiding a little bit more chill. But... World buffs were a cool thing. But the cool thing about all these new classic seasons is they can always change the rules, you know? Maybe... Maybe they'll bring back world buffs for a season. And there's a bruise weed right there. We gotta get up on this pier, I think. There it is, right behind this rock. Yeah, it's been a grind getting all these herbs. The swift thistle should be worth a little bit of gold. Usually when I do herbalism on these characters, the swift thistle is usually what pays for my for my mount, because usually swift thistle is it's a couple of gold per stack. Sometimes like it's close to ten. Because it's a herb you can't pick, it's kind of just procs off of, you know, picking mage mage royales and other herbs. So it's a, it's a tough herb to farm. Let's see what we got here. King's blood. So much King's blood, man. <laughs> Bugs me that I can't loot it. That's like five levels we just missed out on. Or maybe even six. Just because we don't have it at 125. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. I really don't. Can't find it. <laughs> this is brutal. There isn't a lot of herbs in Ashvale. It's not bad, though, if you have 125. I thought I would find a bit more than I have today. Maybe the route we're taking just sucks. But yeah, guys, I think I may be calling it here. I think our herb grind is, is officially done. Gave it our best shot. There's another bruise weed. We could call it, yeah, we'll call it after this bruise weed. That'll put us at 119. That's just one under where we wanted to get. I have to fight this guy. Just fine. We'll go a little bit further. Just a little bit. Yeah, it was a nice chill 
herb picking episode. We're a little bit behind where I want to be, but as long as we find like six to five to six herbs in STV, we should be okay. There's another bruise weed. Okay, it's getting better. This will bring us to 120. There's my favorite moon well. I would always come here to make moon cloth on my mage. I just think it's located in a good place for horde characters. Moon wells are kind of a pain for horde characters because moon wells are, are for for alliance, right? So they're hard to find, and this is like the best one for a horde, I think, because it's right next to uh, Orgrimmar. And it doesn't take you too long to get to. We'll try to get this life root. Let's hope we can get out of here. Yeah, you'd get a proc every like couple days to make moon cloth, and you have to go to a moon well to create it. I like that about classic how they made they did they did the professions pretty well. And supposedly they're they're better in they're even better in the TBC. But I wouldn't know. I'll just take everybody's word for it, I guess. I pretty much only leveled up alchemy and I haven't really done much with it. Okay, so let's see if we can find this life root. Supposedly it was just along here. Hope we can loot it. For some reason we can't find it. It's not showing up. No other herbs are showing up either. It's a little bit weird. There it is. Looks like we're gonna go for a swim. Not too sure if we can loot life root, but I hope we can. Is it on? Is it in the water? There it is. No, we can't. 150. Oh man, we got a long road to go for herbalism, but we got it to uh, 120. I think that's good enough for today. Soon we will get to 125, and we'll be able to actually increase our herbalism to 225. But that is the end of today's episode, guys. As always. Thanks for watching. Keep your heads up. Later.